When talking about the future and about future cities, we automatically talk about changing mobility and transportation. So together with the curators Mariana Pastana and Rory Hyde, we've been thinking a lot about this topic and how to integrate the topic of autonomous driving into their exhibition, The Future Starts Here. We want to ask what happens if this project that lives in this environment is taken into the real world. This is a, um, a fascinating moment in technology, the possibility that um, cars could be autonomous, but it's one that also makes visitors sometimes a little bit anxious about the future. What would it be like to be inside a car and I have no control over it? This emotional attachment to the car is something that will be very important in, in the future. We started an experiment last year together with the um, Volkswagen Group Future Center in Potsdam, um, where we invited more than 500 people to talk to their own personal empathic intelligence. Hi Herbie, can you pick up my son from the kindergarten at 2 p.m.? People have different expectations, different needs, different dreams about the future. And this is why, why we listen to people a lot, we interview people a lot, we watch people a lot, so our work is very empathic, if you like. And during this experiment we did, we kind of collected a lot of user stories and we also found principles, principles of communication. We use them in human-human communication, but we also need them, we believe, in uh, interaction between humans and machines. The Future Starts Here exhibition running at the V&A in London, we created an immersive installation, basically an installation inside of Cetric. People can see and experience future scenarios of commuting, future scenarios of how will you communicate with an autonomous vehicle. For the first time, visitors can not only enter Cedric, but they can experience how a ride in an autonomous car might feel like.